welcome back. Just got out a couple of casts of the, uh, of the corn. Had a little skimmer of about four ounces. And then just lost a better one. Now I'm not fishing corn on the hook. I'm fishing a six mil expander. And it seems to be what they they want. So we'll try out there again on a six mil expander. I say that last fish was a better fish. I was trying to switch the camera on and uh, he popped off. No worries. There's the six mil expander still covering that 12 hook. Put out about 250 grams of uh, liquidised corn to start with. I haven't put anything there since. You probably can't see the float because it's funny old colour light out there at the moment. But uh, as I say, the last the last couple of put-ins, it's it's produced bites that have produced fish so hopefully this put in we'll get one as well we'll keep wait and see as I say sometimes with the liquidised corn in the summer it's fine you can fish the, the corn straight over it and you know it'll be all good but this time of the year or when it's still a little bit early just let that train go you could go over it with maggot or pellet or anything really because all, all the job of the liquidised corn is to attract uh, they're getting tiny little bits of corn the scent as well so it's, it's an attractor rather than a feeder it doesn't tend to fill the fish up I mean in the summer you could feed whole grains of corn you know three or four grains every put in and get away with it but this time of year you, you especially in club lakes where it's not heavily stocked you'd certainly overfeed them quite quickly so the way round that is to use a liquidized corn a little tiny bit of hemp in with it a few maggots and you won't do any harm then that was a nice bite missed him so they're certainly there today which is good so we've got bites on both methods which is a great sign it means the water has warmed up considerably even with this rain that's been going in again on with the six mil soft right let's see if you can actually catch one shall we Again, I've lined the liquidised corn up with that light coloured object on the bank on the other on the island. So I know exactly where I'm putting my bait is over where the corn went in and because it's liquidised corn it falls through the water very slowly and will cover quite an area. You'd be surprised, you know, how much volume you get out of a, a small amount of liquidised corn. It travels through the water clouds the water as well it's a brilliant bait and it's a very cheap bait really because if you, you don't want to worry about buying the tin corn to liquidise buy the frozen corn in the big packets and it's still only about one pound fifty for a kilo or something which makes an awful lot of liquidised corn and what you could do what i do is i put it in the little oval team containers uh no nothing much yet I'm fishing a couple of summer methods in the winter, so... Yeah, I'd see you weren't recording today. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, that's all right, mate, no trouble. I'm fishing liquidised corn with a six mil soft pellet, getting plenty of bite. Yeah. And paste, and I've actually had a few bites on oh, paste. Right, cool. I'm very surprised about that. 
but we've had such warm evenings, so we it yeah. hasn't been cold at all. Uh, I've had one car. You've had one? Yeah. I'm fishing there, the second. Oh, we, yeah, got you. The second shower over there. Oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? It is, yeah. I was shocked when I come up here. I thought, oh, I'll probably be on my own today because it rained last well, night again. Four cars and we've got yeah. a Yeah, amazing. It's a lovely little lake, isn't it? Lovely, you know. I love it. Yeah, yeah I do. Love me. I mean, I've been up here since bloody. Well, forever. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, it's just, it's got everything for me. It's, yeah. you know, it can have its moods, so you have yeah. to be a bit careful. Oh, Christ, In yeah. the summer, it's great. In the winter, you just have to work a bit harder. Exactly. But... Yep. Aha. And there you Another go. little Steve. skin bob. Steve, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you take care, Dave. Second little skimmer. They do like anything to do with corn, the old skim bobs. But the one I lost trying to put the camera on was a proper one, you know, a two pounder. So they're out there as well. What I'll do is I'll try another one. And then I'll perhaps I'll uh, feed a bit more and then go back on the paste. That nasty wind's gone, so that's nice. Good bites on the six mil pellet at the moment. They're just usually a little tiny lift bite followed by a straight pull under, so they're keen. As I say, see if we can get a little bit better one. And then what I do is I'll refeed it, show you it in the pot. Now it goes in the water. Little bite then. That's it, another one. Don't think he's a big one, but he's a, another skimmer, I'm sure. So we've definitely got their attention now on the liquidised corn. Yeah, there's a Gameland skimmer, about seven ounces. Right, what I'll do is I'll just show you the the effect of liquidised corn by putting a little bit in the margin and you'll be able to see the way it colours up the water so I've got my container we pour a little bit of liquidised corn in what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around for a second put you down like that and you watch it go in and you'll actually see the effect it has in the water hope you're getting this you should be you see how the bigger particles sink straight away the smaller particles are, are holding up in the middle layers and see the spread the way it's spreading through so that's covered probably nearly a meter and that was only a tiny pinch of liquidized corn that's what makes it so effective, so deadly. It's a very good bait. As I say, the warmer it gets, the better the fishing gets over the liquidised corn. So uh, certainly give it a go. It's worth a go. Right, I'm going to switch you off and go get a bit of fishing done. <laughs> 